creator who immigrated to the United States from Mexico when I was a little girl. Since then, I am proud to say that I served in the armed forces in Iraq, became a citizen, and I am now an entrepreneur. There are many immigrants who contribute positively to the American economy, but some of the comments in the campaign make us question our place in this country. If America does not seem like a welcoming place for immigrant entrepreneurs, will the American economy suffer? Dr. Carson, that one's, that one's for you. Oh, okay, great. Um, <laughs> uh, as I said before, uh, we are a land of immigrants, but we have to be intelligent about the way that we uh, form our immigration policies. And that's one of the reasons that I have called on us to declare war on the Islamic State, because we need to reorient our immigration policies and our visa policies for people who are coming into this country because there are many people out there who want to destroy us. Now, I recognize that uh, uh, the vast majority of people coming in here probably are not those kinds of people, but that's not good enough. If you've got 10 people coming to your house and you know one of them is a terrorist, you're probably going to keep them all out. You know, we probably have to figure out a way to make sure that we keep America safe. Thank you. Thank you. That, that beautiful young woman who's an entrepreneur who served in the military, first of all, is deserving of our respect for service in the military and the fact that she's an entrepreneur. And we should be a welcoming nation. Our, our identity is not based on race or ethnicity. It's based on a set of shared values. That's American citizenship. And Dulce Candy, a pretty cool name, actually, uh, that is now an entrepreneur of the YouTube, is part of that American experience, and we should celebrate it as conservatives. That's what we believe in. You can, you can deal with the threat of terror and also recognize that this country should be aspirational across the board. Yeah, and I think Thank that's you. the false uh, that's the false choice in this whole debate about immigration. Of course we're going to be a nation of immigrants. By the way, no nation on earth is more generous than America is. Every single year, close to a million people immigrate to the United States legally. There's no nation on earth that comes close to that number. I think the only argument is, are we a sovereign country? Are we not allowed to choose who comes in, when they come in, and how they come in? And that's not what's happening now. Uh, I think the other problem is, we have a legal immigration system that's outdated. It is primarily based on whether you have family members living here. In the 21st century, it has to be more of a merit-based system. And that is why our legal immigration system is in need of modernization. And we will always celebrate legal immigration like Dulce's great. All right, we're moving on. Gentlemen, we're going to turn.